So now in this video, we're going to learn that if else statement, how that going to work. And this image I took from internet. So now first thing, how it's going to work, we can try to understand. When we put that any condition, first thing is go to that condition and check is that true or false. If it's true, then it will go to that code and execute it. If it's false, then it will go to if we have any else if condition, let's go and check that. And then again, there it will check if it's true or false. If it's true, then it's go to code block and execute that. And if it's false, then it will go to else block if we have a specify or it will go out. Or similarly, we can put multiple conditions there. So we can try to understand that in details in our code execution. And these are few things that how we can do in shorter format. So this one I will show you once I, we can understand that how it is working. So let's move there. So now for this one, suppose I define A equals to point and B equals to C. And now I'm putting condition if A greater than B, no, print A is greater, greater than B. And we can execute that. So now it's executed successfully. So here there is no else block. This first time tested, if it's greater, it's printed. Now, if I go ahead and execute this one, putting that A is lesser than B. So we see that it's executed successfully, right? I can execute one more time so that you can see that it's three become four. So now it's become four, but there is no output. The region behind this condition is not going to execute. It's meant to false and there is nothing is there to execute. So to overcome this one sometimes, suppose now if I need to check that if B is greater, then we need to write that. So what we can do, that's why we got that else block. So if you put that else block, to so put else block, also I will show you one thing now. I hope you are aware of this one indentation. So now print. And then I will copy this. So, where is it? So, now if I execute this one, we will get that syntax error. Let's try it. Yeah, we got that syntax error. And reason behind that is saying that else. What is the reason that else? So, now, as we know, indentation is very mandatory. Important in this one, if we do a small tag also changes, it's not going to work. So we can see that if block is started from here, so it's using that else inside that if block. So we have to move this one here. And then this one also we press enter and then in press, we need to put it a starting position. Now that will work fine. So if I execute, I'm getting that now. B is greater than A. Oh my bad. All those places I put that like this one. Okay, sorry. Now I will correct it out. Oh, no. So now it's printing that B is greater than A. Okay. So now we can try to see that because it's else part, so it will print without any condition. So it's not like that B is greater. But what we checking, if A is greater than B, no. We checking that A is smaller than B, no. It's not so going to satisfy. So by default, this one is going to execute. It's irrespective of that condition. This condition is false. So this every time going to execute it. It's not going to satisfy. So now we can go ahead and try to understand if else if block where we have more than one condition, then what we can do. So now, Okay, so it's meant in and it's effective. I will take it later. So now we have to put else if a equal equals to b, then print a. I just wanted to print that value of a so that we can understand. Now, in this case, what it's going to be now if I execute again, it's going to execute that else block only. Okay, so now what I can do, I can make that one more robust. Now putting it here, 
one more condition like this one you know this time we will check that if if uh, now we already check that one if a is greater so now if we check that if a is greater than b then print a but here also i am printing a so here i can put put that b and then i can put that this one default matches to hello and now we can execute it so now we can see this condition got satisfied okay so now it's printing that five and the reason behind this block is executing a is greater than b correct so this one is executed and sorry here we need to put that b is greater because here we are checking that if b is greater than a but it's fine whatever message we wanted to print we can print that but how i hope you understand how that if else if and if else is going to work right so now we'll go to our slide and then we'll try how we can write this one one statement now so since now we have only one statement here so we can work on this first if you execute this one so now it's printing so same thing what we can do in that sort of format we can print like this one because it's only one line so it's not needed to go in that next time and we getting that same output so similarly we have if more than one else block is there then i can print it like this one if we have more than the whatever we talk it here else if and then else so this one i want you guys to try to write that in shorter format in this way so that you can understand that how it's going to work one example is there for you here so now you can try to do that from your end i hope you like this video thank you